Happy holidays, everybody, and welcome to the ZManFitness.com tip of the week. I've kind of been slacking on these weekly updates, so I'm going to throw you two updates because it's the holidays. Consider that my gift to you. First is going to be a tip, and that is to evaluate what you've done over the course of the year. And I'll talk about that in a second. Second is going to be a challenge, actually. It, it's somewhat of a tip, but it's going to be a challenge to get you through the holiday season without totally destroying what you've done over the year. So first is the tip. I want everybody to kind of think about what they've done this year, starting with what your goal was. What Did, did you make a New Year's resolution? Did you maybe join Team Beachbody or a gym or a group fitness studio or something later on in the year? Just if you're getting this, chances are 99% that you have a goal or you had a goal in mind that you wanted to be at around the holidays, whether it be you wanted to lose 15 pounds by Christmas, you wanted to run a certain race, you wanted to be able to lift a certain amount, whatever that goal was, I basically want you to, to evaluate whether or not you're there. So first, write your goal down. That way you're not always thinking, oh, crap, what was that goal? I'm measuring this, I'm doing this, what was that goal? Write it down, put it in writing. And then write down right underneath of it where you're at. So for example, if my goal was to get to 8% body fat, I would go write that down, you know, I am at 8% body fat by Christmas 2011. Then I would go check my body fat and I would write down under that, well, I am actually at, you know, 15% body fat as of this date. And then what I want you to do from there is actually to go back and look at your activity. That's the most important thing. And that's why a lot of people get discouraged is they look at the results, they look at their goal, and if they don't match, you know, say I'm 50% body fat and I want it to be 8, you just throw your hands up and say, oh, it didn't work, nothing I did worked, oh, screw it, I'm done, just forget it, I'm canceling everything, throw, sending everything bad, just I'm, I'm done with it. You don't look at your activity. And that's why I encourage everybody to log your workout, log your food. It can be in wowie.com, I like that because it gives me a chance to win some money, it can be Daily Burn. It can be My Fitness Pal. All free things. It can be um, on an app on your phone. Log it so that at this point you can go back and say, "Okay, well, this entire summer I worked out like eight times. So yeah, okay, so that's I can see that." And looking back at my food, well, let's see. Um, my birthday was this weekend, and I kind of stretched it to a week and had a lot of drinks and and you know and and you you kind of get a pattern. And if you truly stuck to a good workout and, and, and food plan and you didn't meet your goal, I'm talking like you picked up P90X and you needed that straight for 90 days and you did insanity for 60 days and you got asylum for another 30 days. That's six months out of the year with three workouts. So the three of the hardest workouts I've ever seen, if you did all that and you haven't met your goal, then it's time to look at your goal. Was your goal too too crazy? If I'm, you know, 40% body fat and I wanted to be 8% body fat by the end of the year, that's a pretty hefty goal. Same thing with, you know, if you're, if you want to lose 80 pounds in a year, it's possible, but that's a pretty hefty goal. So take the next just day or so before the holidays get too crazy and look at, look at your goal, write your goal down, write down where you're at, and then look at your activity over the course of the year and see if it lines up. If not, let me know. We can always reevaluate for 2012. That's why I'm here. That's why you're getting these, these messages is because you committed to me that I'm going to help you get fit. All right. So that's, that's tip number one is evaluate what you did in 2011 and see where you're at. Number two is sort of a tip, sort of a challenge. The tip is this. Don't let holidays, don't let family, don't let events and activities get in the way of your fitness. Just most workouts can be done between 20 and 30 minutes. That's fine. I mean, if you're doing cardio, 20, 30 minutes is great. If you're doing strength, 20 to 30 minutes, you know, you might have, again, I'm doing P9, I just got P90X2 in the mail. So I'm like P90X stoked, excited. So I'll be referring to that a lot. But P90X is usually an hour long strength program. Well, what it does is it repeats. You do the whole sheet, check mark all your weights, then you do it again. You don't have to do that. All right. Do it, cut it in half, make it a 30 minute workout. Same thing with insanity. Insanity is usually 30 to 45 minutes. Make it, you know, a 20 minute workout. Just do the first part. Just do something to stay active. And the best part is your family can see what you're doing. 
Okay, a lot of people get real nervous around their family, like, oh, I don't want my family to know I'm working out. I want, I don't want them to know I'm eating healthy. Throw away all the fruits and veggies. Put the Shakeology underneath the counter. I don't want, you know, let's bring out the donuts and the cookies. Let's show them we're a normal American family. Don't do that. Don't let that pressure get to you. Okay, put out all the healthy food. If they want something unhealthy, say, you know where the grocery store is. I'd be happy to go get it for you. I'm not going to eat it. Okay. Sometime during the day, let them know, write down somewhere on a calendar, on a schedule, say, look, I've blocked out this 30 minutes to work out. Would you guys like to work out with me? Do you want to go for a walk? Would you like to go for a run? Do you want to see this awesome insanity, Shaleen Extreme, Turbo Jam workout I'm doing? Introduce your family to it. Let them know what you're doing. Chances are they might want to do the same thing, but just aren't telling you. So that's my tip. Okay, work out. Don't let anything get in the way of your workout and your heat and your eating. The challenge is to actually do it. And that is why I'm challenged every Christmas is six days away. New Year's is about two weeks away. In the next two weeks, 14 days, I challenge everyone to work out six times. That's less than half. Okay, that is definitely not what I would recommend for a non-holiday season. If, if you're working with me, I want you working out five, six days a week. This time I'm only asking for three days a week. Push play. Go to the gym. Go for a walk. But if you go for a walk, get your get your heart rate up. Go for a run. Um, go find you know a little fitness studio somewhere or some gym membership that'll let you have like a week free. Take a couple of Zumba classes. Try a boot camp class. Go to spinning. Do something. Just three days a week for the next two weeks. Work out and log it so that I know that that's what you've done. If you're in my P90X group, there's five of you that should be watching this video. That's my personal challenge is to work out three days a week. I want posts in my Facebook page three days a week from everybody saying that they've worked out. Everybody else, if you want to take the challenge, chances are come New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, you won't be laying on the couch bloated, feeling disgusting, and kicking yourself for letting yourself go way out of whack. So if you want to take it, let me know. Those are my tips. That's my challenge. Everybody have a great holiday and enjoy yourself. Have some eggnog, have some pie, have some cookies or whatever. Just stay in moderation. Have a great holiday and I'll see you after the new year.